everyone. Welcome back. I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the mineral buffet system. So I learned about this buffet um, probably back in February of this year, 2023. And um, we started it on our goats, our female goats. And the reason for that is uh, we were having problems with our water and it was high iron. And so it was really depleting them of minerals. And the problem that we noticed was that when we gave them their mineral mixes, which is basically anything that you can buy from any of the farm stores, it's already a pre-mix that's uh, scientifically made for goats in general. The problem is, is that they are not made for each specific area. And everybody is different in the amount of minerals that they have in the ground on their location. So even though like, let's say my ranch, we're depleted of these specific minerals, a ranch one mile down the road can be completely different. And so with these mineral mixes, it makes it really hard for goats to eat more of the mineral to get a specific kind without overeating another kind. So they're kind of limited on how much of the mineral they can ingest. Most of the time, I would say in general, goats can handle being on the mineral mixes. However, like in our case, um, because of the iron in the water, they were being severely depleted of copper and zinc and other minerals. And so it was really hard for them to bounce back um, after the issue. So what we did was we did a ton of research and we came across this mineral buffet system, which is not a new idea. It's been around for decades. Uh, the company that we have decided to go through is Free Choice Enterprises, and they are up in Wisconsin. And so anyway, um, we did extensive research on it. Um, I know that a lot of people um, are against it in certain ways because they say you're just buying a whole bunch of fillers and salt and stuff like that um, instead of buying just the pure minerals. Um, and at first I kind of thought, you know, maybe that's a good idea. We should look at the pure minerals. But then we realized that certain minerals need carriers to um, make it safe or to help the animal absorb the mineral better. So the carriers are actually serving a very good purpose. Um, so anyway, Free Choice Enterprises is who we went through and we purchased, it was, it's very expensive to get started. It's quite a few hundred dollars. I think originally it cost us around $800 to get our initial setup because they only sell each mineral in 25 pound bags and they make you buy the full 20 minerals. Um, not because they're out to get the money, but because it's so important that they have access to every single mineral that they need. You don't want to just buy, you know, you know, let's just say copper and give them access to full copper and not all the other minerals. Um, and that is one of the things that I did notice that I liked about the company is they make sure that you have all 20 minerals before they will sell you a single mineral uh, to replenish what your animals are eating. So I like that idea because you, it, they make sure that your animals are getting everything that they need. And so um, anyway, we started our goats on it, our females, and within about three to four weeks, we really started noticing um, that our goats were gaining some weight. And keep in mind, we didn't do any feed changes once we started the minerals. Um, we did put the water filter onto our, our well to help deplete the iron in the water so it wasn't hurting the goats anymore. So I know that that did play a part in how well our goats were doing after that because we kind of did it all at the same time. However, after looking at pictures and knowing quite a few of our goats for six, seven years that we've had here, we started noticing that their hair color was changing, the muscle tone in the animals was changing, the weight gain, um, and like I said, we didn't do any feed changes, but pictures don't ever do them justice. I can look back at pictures from a year ago and be like, oh yeah, the goats looked really good, but then when you really look closely, it's like, there's differences. So a couple of things that I did notice with the mineral buffet is it seemed like our goats eat less. I don't know if that's just coincidence 
or if maybe they're getting so much from the minerals that they feel they don't need or they don't need as much food to sustain a healthy body. Um, their hair gets very shiny and silky and, uh, and soft. It's not all coarse like when they're copper deficient. Um, now it's been, well, let's see, it's September. So it's been about seven months since we've given any copper pills to our goats. Um, and so far I don't notice that we need to give any yet. Whereas before we'd give about two to three pills per year because it was so deficient here. Um, so I'm going to see if maybe it will completely delete having to give them those copper boluses. Um, only time will tell on that. Um, and yeah, they just seem so much healthier. They're running around playing. They didn't used to do that as much. Um, and they just seem a lot happier. Um, basically, I fell in love with the mineral idea and I wish I had found it years ago. And so anyway, what I did, because I'm so passionate about what it's done for our herd, is I wanted to help other people get started. So I contacted the company and after weeks of trying, I was finally able to be a distributor for them. And so what we do is we purchase the big packs of minerals and we put them into smaller packages for people and we make them more affordable. So now you can get the mineral buffet through us for starting at $100. So it's a lot cheaper, it's a lot more affordable, and I just, I want to share this uh, adventure with other people because... I wish I, like I said, I wish I had found it sooner for our herd. It has made such a difference, and um, I'm super excited to see our first kidding season with it. We've kept track of our, our kids for the last seven years, and some of the goats we've had that long. So it'll be nice to see what the difference will be with their kids on how they're growing and things like that. Um, so I'm keeping track of everything. Um... And then also something to keep in mind if you're going to go with this journey is that it will change throughout the year what, what they're ingesting on the minerals. It will change with the weather. It will change when there's forage available. It will change when the goats are pregnant. It will change, you know, for so many reasons. Even the hay that you buy, you could get a new batch and there's different minerals in that batch. And so it will change the minerals that your goats are ingesting. Now, the good thing is uh, these minerals are not just for goats. They're for all livestock. And so basically, you set out all the minerals for any livestock that you have, and they can come and go as they please and pick and choose what they need. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to take you guys out now. I'll show you guys our setups. And um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. I will also leave my link for my website below. And I will also... Uh, leave my email. So if you guys have any questions, uh, definitely get a hold of me. But let's go check out our system. All right, so this is our system. And what we did was we purchased these containers. These are double mineral buckets that you can just Google. And you can find different websites. You can get them at your local tractor supply. I think they're around $8 there. But I did find them online for just over $5. So you would only need 10 of them to make a full mineral buffet. So this is ours, and what we did was we labeled each one in what they were so that way we could keep track. So basically your 20 minerals is your acid neutralizer and your alkaline neutralizer. Then you have your boron, your calcium, cobalt. As you can see, I need to refill some copper. We have got iodine, magnesium, manganese, molybdenum, phosphorus, potassium. We have regular stock salt, which is one that we do not sell, only because you can get it so much cheaper in a 50 pound bag from your local farm store. So we always recommend that you buy that by yourself because um, you can get 50 pounds for like six bucks. Um, it costs us more of that if we get it shipped in. So that's one that you will not get in the mineral buffet. We also have the selenium and vitamin E. We have silicon, sodium, sulfur, this is a vitamin V4, which is the A, D, and E mix, vitamin C and B, and then your zinc. So that is your basic mineral buffet system. And so what we do is we just keep it out, and then when it gets low like this, 
We'll keep track of what they're eating the most of, and we're gonna refill that up to about half full. You don't want it too full because they can sometimes make it messy. But what we did is we put a board down here and the younger goats will actually step up on that instead of jumping inside of the mineral buckets. And as you can see, I have not cleaned these mineral buckets out in a long time. Occasionally you'll get from a hoof or whatever, you know, a little bit of hay or a piece of poop or something like that. But 90% of the time they do keep it very, very clean. Now I did have somebody also ask me about uh, humidity. And now obviously um, this is inside of a barn and so they're not directly affected by the rain. But as you can see, the humidity does clump some of them. This one is not clumped. This one is not clumped. Um, there's a piece of hay in that one. So a lot of these, it does not affect, but I have noticed that it'll affect the actual stock salt because it'll get clumpy, but you could just break it right back up and they'll still ingest it. This one's the phosphorus. It also gets a little bit clumpy, but as you can see, it just falls right back apart. No big deal. I think the one that it affects the most is the magnesium, and it gets really clumpy, and it actually kind of get hard, but they still ingest it. So I haven't noticed it really affecting any of the minerals because of the humidity, and we have had quite high humidity lately because of the rains. And if anything, if you don't want to break these up and put them back in, you could always just take out the chunks. No big deal. But that is what it looks like in our dough system. Now let's call the girls in and see if we can get any of them using it. I think she's my one that likes to walk, walk across it and check them out. But as you can see, she's going after the copper. As you can see, they, they know that they need specific minerals. And even though all these minerals have some form of either salt or carrier in them, as you can see, she's only going after specific ones. She's not just going after any of them. See, now she's going after the boron. And it's always good to keep a log on what they're going through just so you know when you need to order specific minerals to fill up your back stock because you don't want to be running out, especially when it's really essential, like if they're pregnant or nursing or whatever. Going back after that copper. I know, we need to fill it up, huh, girl? But so what we did was we made this uh, chest level for the goats right about here. And that way the adult goats can just reach right in and lick what they need. So that's about the height that we built this. And the reason for that is we don't want too many goats trying to jump up in there. Um, most of our kids actually use the step like she's using part, part way now. Um, I think she's the only one that actually puts her feet in it. Um, and that's why we occasionally get the hay or the, or a piece of poop or something in there. Um, but yeah, for the most part, all the adults can easily go over there and lick it. So that's a good height wise for you guys. Um, I don't have an exact specific height. Uh, we just wanted to make sure that the adults were able to just reach in there without having any trouble. All right, you guys. Well, I hope I was able to answer your questions about the mineral buffet. If anybody is interested, we do sell them in one pound of each mineral for $100. Or we sell them in five pounds of each mineral for $375 and shipping is not included. I am able to put the one pound starter set in a priority box, so it only costs you $22 for shipping anywhere in the US. Uh, the larger box would um, be a little bit more. So if you guys are interested, get a hold of me. I have my link below. You can check out our website or give me an email. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.